Okay. Hopefully I won't have to degrade my graphics too much. Okay, so offline I collected pretty much everything that I was to collect. And I cleared the Rock Breaker Corrupted Zone. Then the Corrupted Zone immediately to the north. So now I have Ravager Gun. Corrupted Watchers. The Eclipse and Corrupted Machines. Cooperating. One happy family. So I got a few bolts left. Haven't you got anything better to do? I got one more if you want it. Someone weeping. These dig sites. They're massive. Yep. Yeah, and, and that sound. Wait, that's a rat. God damn it, not rat enough. Where the hell am I going? Maker's End, the ruins. Okay. Punisher. Corrupted machines. Yeah, this thing is not going to be stealthy. At least Holy not very stealthy. What do you do here? Take these out. Aren't you gonna check it out? I 
Gotta be moved. Okay, they're on a lot. Stay on stealth. Maybe I won't talk with combat override. No, not right now. Little strikes probably gonna be the way to go. Excuse me, there's something on your back. Me. Put it out! Put it out! That's a machine. That's a human. Go above. <laughs> this is the Maker's End quest. Okay, wasn't as quiet as I had hoped.
This is no place for a soldier. All rope burning, frost black, chopping at hard ground. Let this sun fall. Who's, who said that? giving me a lot of options here. Corruptor. Right, that thing jumps. Yes, burn. Switch to Devil Breaker. Come on. Come on, move! Talisman. I want a skin. No, I want a rat bone. I want a rat bone.
the hell? What? What? Why can't I? Ancient vessel. And our heads. We need rat bone. Rat bone. Another explosion. Rat bone? Yes, rat bone. Okay, Rattler or Blast Sling? Thinking Rattler. Now we need more fish skin. about it no daydreaming soon this demon will be up and running another death bringer to fill out the ranks yeah i think i'm gonna need to go with arrow biker on this one that's 
zurück. Okay. gonna be one of those things. Bring it down to 80%. Okay. Hmm. Let's try that. Has to be one of the Deathbringers Olin talked about. Fitting name. I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first. Huh. Clap on. Dodged. Who 
knows where she went. Deathbringer with Mr. Fire and Shock, repeater cannons, cooling rods, core, flamethrowers, grenade launcher, heat vent, gun turret, swarm launcher, stabilizer, disabling the repeater cannon. Explosion the machine overheats. Destroying this component causes high damage. Uh, hitting this one overheats causes massive damage. Disables the flamethrower. Disables the grenade launcher. Uh, when the machine overheats, causes high damage. Can be picked up and reused. Disables the swarm launcher. Deals greater damage and could cause the machine to fall. Disable the cannon to it. I can barely see. Steam's blasting out. I wonder if those are weak points. Yep. That thing really hurt it. Huh. Lucky me. Oh, you weren't so tough. The snow's got a bite out here. <laughs> yeah, I did some l collecting before I got here. I, I'm. Blast it! Right down. I love my side quest. Did it. Those things pack a punch. All right. That eclipse officer had a focus. 
Let's see what's on it. Oh, so I did switch to very hard. Freeze coil, resist corruption. Freeze coil and resist corruption. Really? I'm kind of afraid of going ultra hard because I know all the values go down like by half. And of course, on the last pickup, it crashes. Also, the rock breaker battle was very, very hard. Also, should I go for the Frozen Wilds after the campaign or during it? Let's see what you have to say. Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. Looks tight, but I can squeeze through. I'm guessing the Frozen Wilds came after the game, like significantly after. <laughs> Or I tend to scan. Oh, one of these again. <sighs> Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. Oh yeah. <laughs> Which back to comfy outfit? Dr. Sobek, you are. 
and back to full resolution. 355,510 days overdue for your meeting with Mr. Fair. Please proceed to the 35th floor. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? 350,000. Yeah, that's hundreds of years ago. Well, okay. If I need a break during the main story, I'll go for the Frozen Wilds. I can go back and forth, right? A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Crap. I really wish they'd fix this. Wait, when do you learn about the frozen wilds in the game? I think I've read some notes about them already. Also about the Forbidden West, which was cool. <clears throat> Dr. Sarvath, you are 355,510 days overdue for your meeting with Mr. Fair. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Yep, this was hundreds of years ago. <sighs> Why do you keep crashing? I think what give us with a blue exclamation mark to give you frozen wild quest. Huh. Okay. I'll wait until I get uh, a prompt. And let's bring it down to an ugly 50% so I can finish this old thing. Yeah, the caches are seriously annoying. Probably an asset loading and loading thing, which I don't know why it can't be fixed. Why does it have to cache? I mean, if it slowed down, if it got stuck for a minute, maybe it crashes. Dr. Sobek, 
you are 355,510 days out of date for your meeting with Mr. Fairley. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? I think they did 350,000 on purpose, so it'll be easier to calculate. Statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill, and they honored it. Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Feral leads the world in every sector of self sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus. To the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots hold. What was this place? What were they doing here? Bio, Elizabeth Sobeck. Corruption minimal. Elizabeth Sobeck, born March 11, 2020, is an American scientist, roboticist, and engineer, widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford University at age 13, earning a BS in experimental physics and computer science at age 16. Completed her PhD in Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Design at Carnegie Mellon, 2040. Joined Ferro Automated Solutions, junior scientist at the same year. Rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22. Over the next eight years, her green robot design played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the claw back decade. Propelling FAS to the forefront of its field in 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAS, protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life-positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since become one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environmental Progress. Ted Farrow. Born December 24th, 2013, is an American entrepreneur and business magnate. Founder of Ferro Automated Solutions, largest corporation of all time, the world's wealthiest individual and the first ever trillionaire. Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, and enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he studied business for two years before dropping out in 2033 to start FAS. Though it struggled at first, the company broke through at the end of the troubled 2030s with its popular lines of personal servitors and bodyguard robots, and exploded when its famous line of green robots led the race to solve the climate crisis during the 2040s, clawback. At the end of that decade, FAS opened a military defense branch, dominating the world market for automated military platforms by 2053. The success of FAS has made Mr. Ferro the world's best-known businessman, one of its most sought-after speakers, and a major voice in politics, culture, and international affairs. Corporation. FAS history. It was a corporation. A group of people, not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Voicemail, Ted Farrell. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Ferro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? Uh, I really don't know what else to do about this.
Bring textures down, bring shadows down. I don't know what else. Oh, great. Why do they have Ridgewood in these containers? Entangled waveforms. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black court stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. <laughs> All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Court standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts team or Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So they were making machines, then they stopped. To make other kinds of weapons? Why? The heart's team of swarm. Reception log. Uh, July 7th, 2064. Damn it. Didn't even get a crash log this time. Wait. No, this thing is gone. I need to check on the graphics memory for the people who say it runs fine. I'm not sure which version, but I did update the last time it gave me, like a week ago. Yeah, I saw the change log and nothing about in-game crashes. Mostly about fixing startups. Okay, straight to the end.
death. Nothing natural. Another cave-in. But I could get through. We complained. Hey, what's happening? If that is your real name, want to know who's scheduled in the Malay right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, Senior VP of Sales. Want to know why? After that little hair pulling incident, both sides increased our base by 40%. I'll explain, because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Those two sides are fighting, and what do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other, so they will try to fight each other with, what? That's right again, combat machines, which they will pay us a lot of money for. So I suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do my much more complicated job. Thanks a bunch. Okay, I'll check for a new version then. Such a system has been entered hibernation. No lockdown has been initiated. A violent post is targeting the campus. Employees can no longer be guaranteed. Security cannot be guaranteed. Uh, shut of the facility indefinitely. The text of use of the all file is locked down. Healthy messaging. Treat the current lockdown situations in the society, but do not attempt to release the hatches or otherwise exit the building. Oh, there's a big brother initiative to accompany uh -huh. So people were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Spiritual summit. From Ted Farrow to Paolo Vassara, Spiritual Summit. Recent events have sharpened my perspective, and I think that I and FAS in general have been neglecting the spiritual side of things, not under any specific religious framework, of course, but in a more general sense, as in not giving enough thought to our shared values, hopes, and aspirations for the afterlife. I'd like you to reach out to religious leaders of every stripe with the intention of scheduling a conference soon, very soon. I'll have more thoughts about the agenda later. But for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent, no cooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go with the locks. Make it clear we'll spare no expense. Thanks, Ted. What do we have here? But does this thing still have power? The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. 
Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Uh huh. <clears throat> Maybe some of the extras. The sixteenth. I have no idea, but it's still crashing like a I don't know. Actually, it's kind of a problem with Epic. I mean, on Steam, I would know because the developer would publish a new update saying, oh, look, there's a patch and all the patch notes. But I don't see that part in EGS. Hopefully it's saved when I clear the floor. It sort of did. <laughs> Looks like the way up. What's left of it? Well, let's finish viewing this thing. Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. Sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. Mm -hmm. The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. <laughs> Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were Faro machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more. The FSP-5 Kopesh <laughs> provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, 
It's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. Lens home lens. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. Conflict resolution profile is not a great way to say which firearms do you want to kill people with. Yeah. Wait, is this the right way or the other way the right way? Conflict resolution. Yeah, and the way they say peacekeeping. <laughs> What's that? Regarding the rumors. This the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand-down codes, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. Mm -hmm. They were built for war, not peace. <clears throat> All hands on deck. From Gordon Nakata to Gina Zierman. All hands on deck. Gina, ever hear of the Melville Island Fruit Association? Neither had I until they filed suit against us this morning. Apparently there's a little island paradise off the coast of Australia, population 2700, all of whom hate us now that a stray Hearts Timor unit is chowing down on their largest mango orchard. That brings the official count of Hearts Timor related lawsuits to 127. Most of them from private companies, but also a bunch from individuals, nation states, and NGOs. And that's not even counting the mother of all liability claims from Hart himself. Or Hart itself. Call every external firm we've ever used and call their competitors. We're going to need every corporate defense lawyer we can find who's still half sober and on the bar. Was it General Counsel FAS? Yeah, Kopesh, Horus. Virtual summit. It's cold. Okay. Yeah, it's cold. 
Panda Sea incident. From Stacy Anders to Robert Rusher, Dolphin Vid. Bob, another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently, a fisherman in the Banda Sea captured video of a hard steamer horse unit refueling via biomatter conversion along the shoreline of Pulau Wetar. On a part of endangered dolphins, no less. Quite possibly the last of their kind. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happens inside a blender, as if the robot was whipping up a big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin chum. Our suppression team has scrubbed it from 43 networks, but it's still propagating, so it's only a matter of time before it goes viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real stinker. VP of PR, FAS. Yeah, your machines eat dolphins. A way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. Yes? Yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. Echo 31, October 2064. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Okay, I have to watch this at full resolution. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robots? <laughs> Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. The entire line. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. <laughs> Another barrel has been recovered. That's a nice view you've got here. This <laughs> looks like it's a feature. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In and emergencies. And act independently. And you make them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, th you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization, we're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not, not contained. contained, it can't be! You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Someone didn't play stuck at all too. Robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. A final cell has been recovered. Yeah, I, I, I know about the power cell. I just need to find it. Project Zero Dawn. 
Jesus, Les. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. Apparently she does. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. Maybe the Millennium. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. Yeah, now, well, before I go down, there is still a bit more up to do. A shell. Not the real reason. The way she climbs, if she misses one thing, she's toast. Power cell. <sighs> Another power cell. This should help me get to that ancient armor. been my mother she lived ages ago all this searching and i'm still no closer that's your reaction to everything you've just learned to whine like a spoiled child <laughs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face as you wish do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made aloy i expected more of you so you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name? Yes. Start with that. Silence. <clears throat> That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. All right, silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but... I still don't understand my connection to her, or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me, or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. 
A common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. In a way. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? You're in the way. Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Your time. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal? Always. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus. Risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head. And you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Well, he all... study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. You said you've known for some time that far war machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now... I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? Oh yeah, I know that guy. I watched a while, it's cool. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. He's a great actor. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? No way. It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals mostly, an ancient word for medicine. 
But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Fine. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Cool, more skill points. Uh, I'll think about it. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. To the Grave Horde. Okay. That's rather far away. I have Robin the Rich at 11.46. At least the chill's gonna keep me alert. Rat! 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 Yes! Blastling ammo. Rat skin. No more available. And I need fish skin for the rattler ammo. <sighs> okay. That's over here. Oh, peacekeeping of you enthusiastically murdering rats. Yeah, I, I need the parts. They're serving a higher purpose. Fish, fishy, fishy, fishy fish. <laughs> Who's that guy? said he lost another caravan to machines last week. Docked my wages. Again. Sucks to be you, then. A fork. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. a scuffle here, but no body. If someone dragged Nassan off, there should be tracks. That's what I was looking for. Oh, here we are. Let's see where they went. And who are you? Hello? 
Hello? Hello? No? Okay. Spider machine site. Wait. What's going on? I target them. These look like Carter Gods. Hello. Why aren't you picking up the pulse? They're worth a lot of money. Okay, what do we have here? Shadow culture. The Shadow Karja outpost. Let's hope Nassan is inside. Damn, there's quite a bit of them. Oh, you didn't see me? I can climb up though. I do have that ability. Come on. I'm your head. Come on, show me your head.
Um, Island Strike, no? Kidnap us. <coughs> and the heavy. They're behind the door, so they won't notice. Ah. Nice way in. I'll use that. I can shoot from here. I can shoot from here. Get up. Your leg is doing weird things. Nothing's the matter, everything is fine. Oh, very convenient. I've got Nassan, all right. He needs help. Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic with your mother. <laughs> I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. 
I don't mind breaking the laws. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? Hmm. He's got spirit. Might take seven. All right. I'm taking wagers. Hmm? Works best. Together. What else you got? Five. Oh. Hit me. Got me. Oh. Five. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got? More of this. To destroy me. Damn it! How can I keep missing him? Just when I was looting. Well, are you gonna start? <laughs> hey, I'm making peace with the by by the destroying Shadow Kaja or something. They they disturb the peace, so I keep the peace. I hope you saved us for defeating them. Otherwise, it'll be annoying. Go away, why are you bothering me? And no more loot. Are you in the sun? Kinji, you've sent me. 
Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way. Where are you going? Hang on, there was something interesting. Oh, it's just the way back. Okay, I'm good, let's go. <laughs> How the hell does this thing even work? Where are you running off to? Kindy, you've told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? Ugh. But after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. Cool. Oh, now I have to return to Ravon. Good, I wanted to visit Meridian in a while. Too bad there's no one selling animal parts. Otherwise, this would have been quicker. Watch out for the merchant. Nice view. Even with clouds are too low as they can go. I should have everything collected. Yes, everything except the last vantage point, which is over there. Which I assume is some kind of quest related thing sometime. I remember just a nagging feeling that something's going wrong. Sure as the sun's rising. Hmm, yeah. Yes, I yes. Trade quickly. I have... I should have everything you need. I will leave you to the hunt. What do my tired eyes see? A hunter, surely. Come, um, talk to me a moment. Then go to Mysterious Box Guy. Actually, that guy sells animal parts, right? Why can't I buy multiple? Because there is no limit on how many boxes you can have. This is where I keep my extra stuff.
Yeah, but it's a, it's a, it's actually kind of a legitimate way of doing this because every box contains a random assortment of specific items. I need a Stormbird lens. I need to bring down a Stormbird. I brought down seven rock breakers and behemoths. I don't know what to get that. And give me that. Now I should have all the Banuk figures for you. Back from the wild. You ready? And we're done. Come on back. If Excuse me, Outlander. I'm looking for Banuk. You don't have anything interesting, right? No. Artifacts. There were a time when the. And you don't have storm belt lenses. Give it a few years. We'll have the sun down running smoothly as anywhere in the clan. Let's have a chat. Ah, oh, you're back. Yes, oh. I should have a thing for you too. Great. Till we meet again. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. And now to save just in case. I keep leaving these things here. I don't know why. The mad sun king. The liberation. It's always the ones you least expect. Alright, if I do the quest, it'll save. Gotta take over my brothers. I see you've rebuilt. A man named Nissan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say. Follow the shadow, and you'll find the flame. Okay. Now, closest quest. Hunter's Blind, 167. Talana. Right. Now, sell. Fellowback Heart, all these charms. Talisman, don't need that. Keep the skins for now. Rider Heart, Watcher Heart. Lance Horn. Uh, Echo Shell is important. Metal Burn, not so much. Uh, metal Vessel, very important. Blaze can be sold. Chill Water can be sold. Corruption Glaze. Wire and Sparkle. And tons of money. Um, sell this. Keep the resist charm, keep the resist range. Corruption Coil. Shock Coil. Freeze Coil, Fire Coil. Tear. Tell. Yeah, keep those just in case. Tell all the freaking traps. And buy the potions. Be prepared, be prepared. Have you seen the memorials in the sun ring? Each
No, dodge a box of shock trap. Shock trap. Blast trap. Blast trap. I'm gonna leave the rest for now, but the special reward box. Another special reward box. Oh, these are for machine parts. Why would I need freaking rocks? meat back on down one shock weapon coil no Damage weapon and handling weapon. Thirty seven damage and fifty seven handling. Thirty seven damage and tail. Yes, I'll take that. Handling, handling. Hundred seventy-eight. Corruption weapon and handling weapon. Resist fire. Shock resist. Yeah, no way. Very rare tear. Forty percent tail and thirteen percent handling. Thirty nine percent tail and plus ten percent damage. Oh, that's a damage. No, I want the damage coil. Yeah.
Okay. Back from the what? Tell me more about simple healer, including you ready? No, I just want to sell stuff. This and this and this and. This and this, and that's it. Come on back. Excuse me, Outlander. I'm looking for Banuke artifacts. Take it down. Good luck. I did what I could. How are we supposed to refuse your armies that the sun demanded blood? And yet, we pay the price. Why does King of Odd protect the people of Sunfall? Who's that? You look cool. Ah, nice to rest my feet for a minute. Any work done? Hi. Ready to do this? Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of Anora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements. And Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. Mm -hmm. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it would bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. <laughs> Do you, Aloy of the Nora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is barely cold, I <laughs> present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. What the hell feeling I'm gonna get to Red Maw first? Terror Blaster Weapon Box. Give me a minute. This. This is a good day. I know why I hate a cease. Why do you? My family has always boasted members in the lodge. My father and brother were both hawks. A cease let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um. What sacrifice? They died in the massacre. They should be honored as hawks. Instead, a cease will not let anyone mention it. How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. Mm -hmm. I want to change that. <laughs> the idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from the Nora. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet as soon as I leave the sacred lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. <laughs> I didn't know. I'll remember that. What happened in the massacre? King Jiran's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sun Ring. When the Hawks of the Lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more Hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. What happened to the men in the Sun Ring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. 
He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. What's Redmaw? What's Redmaw? Few have seen it. A thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Redmaw. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the lodge itself. I have to unseat a cease. Wanna go get it together? Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? Oh, they did that. You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. Okay. Goose. Terrorblaster. And Terrorblaster charge. Deals very high tear damage. The severity and impact releases the compressed air blast, tearing off anything it touches. Useful for stripping armor. Terror blaster, unmodifiable. Blast compressor from close range. Trips armor and components. Cannot be modified. They cost echo shells in metal vessel. Okay. How about capacity? Fish skin. Fish skin all of you. What? What tutorial? I see no tutorial. Deadliest game. Gather one Stormbird trophy, one Thunderjaw trophy. Sure, on the way. The stuff. Cause for concern. Talk to Nil. Oh, he's gonna make me kill him. No, the sun shall fall first. Um. Okay, so can I make more ammo? In charges of six. Great. Okay, give me... I'll think about it. Precision, precision, knockdown, fighting back. Okay, what is the tutorial? Remove machine components with a tail blaster. Not you. A moment of your time, Outlander? No, I already gave you everything. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. 
If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. Hi. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. He's also good, I, I think. think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <laughs> hey, Lloyd. A moment. Please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? Yes, greatly. She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Go to Wells. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. <laughs> Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. That's some nice cake, but you're not very subtle. He has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Yes. Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Obviously. It's a bomb, all right. Well crafted. Iron copper chemical explosive secured with touch sensitive detonators. Of course it is. Don't move too much. Right, more. If that bomb goes off, that's a lot of blaze. Firestorm. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Not Smoke right now. Will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow. The blast will be much smaller. It's on the coast. Open the door. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller.
What can we use? Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. Yeah. What else do we have? To open the door, man. Uh, so is uh, is, is that thing gonna go off? If we can get rid of it somehow, yeah, the blast will be much smaller. Open the door. Pull it over. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. What are we dropping it on? Uh, this is not gonna be good. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force, I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> Ow. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace, and that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> he tries for the palace. He's finished. No, I liked I liked Evans on the first time I saw him. I knew he was trying to to be a good guy. He looked like he was trying. It's just a bit of blaze in them. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. The lodge? From the edge of the mesa. No, that's not the lodge. The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. That's gotta be a secret door or right? something, right? Oh, at least downstairs. This must be where Durval assembled the dead man. Mm. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Wait, let me check the upstairs first. <laughs> Wait, it's... why can't I... What is the... Mm. Fine. <clears throat> Durval did find a way into the palace. He saw you. Come on, climb.
I wish I could be there to see the sun. That's how you fight in the Noah. Probably going to need it. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> it didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! Oh, I still got your earpieces things. Yeah, let's disable that thing. It's gonna come in handy. You guys gonna be okay? What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. I think I'm afraid of a rattler. Uh, outfit. Arrow breaker. <laughs> uh, give me the rattler on the right side. And... Yeah, the shadow sling will set you on fire. Uh, ammunition. Ammunition. And freeze bolts. Yeah, I'll use the rattler on you. Not sure what that was. Why does a bard always have his lazy? Ow. Damn! Can we finish this? I've got something to kill. I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Can we finish this? I've got a something. yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan.
Oh crap. Destroy it. I've been seen. They're just glint hawks. Majestic, murderous glint hawks. So switch to ice. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. How do I disable that machine? Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Majestic, murderous glint Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Um, no, I think that was everything. Forget about traveling light. Yeah. Okay. Now what do you have to say? Um, there's a glint talk on you. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up! The king has asked for your audience. I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. <sighs> After we crash. Okay, I wanted to finish anyway, but let's finish this quest.
Will the game count me finishing on Ultra Hard if I didn't play Ultra Hard from the beginning? There is something related to the difficulty. I'm not sure which one exactly. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing exactly. you, Aaron, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Talk to Val, talk to Aaron, talk to Dervil. Let's go Dervil first. <coughs> First of all, uh, modifications I need to sell. Yeah. Hang on to that one. Shock and damage, just shock, shock and terror and corruption, yeah I don't need the, just the rare ones. I'm not sure what to do about the spear things yet. Um, Sell the traps. And let's buy demo. No, everything is full.
Hmm, you're on display. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. Okay. That was very informative. Where the hell am I? Oh, it's Olin's house. Hi. What's up? Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. <laughs> I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. <clears throat> Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. <laughs> you're gonna make me tear up. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off... They'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. <laughs> In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. Properly. See you around. Well. I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Oh. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. <laughs> two? Huh. Well, she likes me. <laughs> see you around, Aaron. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. We'll see where the travel takes me. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Uh-huh. Like you use Elsa? Another substitute. It might be worth 
Taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa. A woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? <laughs> By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah, please, accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time to resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. And in time, I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that, then? What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. Wait, what about Elsa? Shall we talk some more? What about Elsa? Were you and Ursa... You know. You know. I suppose it's obvious how I feel... How I felt... About her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. See you around. I have to go. I understand. Okay, do I have anything close by? Deadliest game. Sure, let's hunt some machines. No, I'll hunt some things on the way. Also concerned, farewell. He's gonna make me kill him, isn't he? He will. Just in case, fire bombs, shock at low. Why am I standing on a campfire? <laughs> what the hell? Um, what happened here? What is this place, and what did you do? Yeah. This is useful. Wait, wait. Nil. I did wonder on my way here... Well, if you were luring me into an ambush. Where's the fun in that? Some bandit sprawl would never have done for our arena. But this... Much better. There's a sense of drama. So... What do you say? How about we try to kill each other? 
How about not? Wait. You brought me out here to ask if I want to fight you? To the death. We'll savor it because we only get this one time. Actually, I don't know what else I expected. Don't. I like you. I'm... Um, flattered that you think of me this way, but I don't want to kill you. Don't be hasty. When it's life against death, hunter against hunter, I know it'll come to you. Is that really what you want, Nil? <clears throat> you know, I don't think you have a death wish. What you have might be worse, but I see there might be a need for you in this world. I don't understand. I won't fight you. That's my decision. You can respect it, or try to shoot me in the back as I go. Then it's over. Your last arrow Aww. was the first. Aww. Aww. But don't be sad. It's true, I offered you the choice. But my heart is broken. Aww. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I just want you to live. Yes. I'm not even sure what she meant. But <laughs> Saving these for the trail. But yeah. I won't kill you like Wesley didn't kill Inigo. Okay, anything else I can do quickly? Ancient memory. I want more of the power cells. Ancient armory, I want more of the power cells before I go back there. Explore the cut. Go ahead for the main quest. Probably just referred to the fact that he's a psychotic killer. Yeah, but he's a good one. That's what I like about him. Okay, I'll try hunting some game and then for a few minutes and then we'll see. He's a very nice psychotic killer. That's storm build location. Thunder jaws are easier. Okay, let's do the thunder jaw. Okay, just a reminder, Thunder Jar, tear off the disc launchers, blast the tail, shoot him with ice.
Oof. Cool. That's strange. Lucky me. That's strange. Uh. Sixteen. And that's a seventeen. Sixteen resist melee. Yeah, do that. Resources. Stun to John Hart. And the trophy. Cool. No other parts. Maybe I can take down Stormbird quickly. Okay, there it is. For that, we need the Hope Castle. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is this shock potion? Do this, and then do this, and then wait on this, and then get its attention. Get down. I think that was even easier than the Thunderjaw.
I didn't even use my second potion. Okay, cool. Let's talk to Assis and finish this quest. And then that'll be my last thing for the day. Keeping that, and keeping that, and that, and sell the blaze, and sell the chill water, and sell the sparkers, and that's good. Sell the spear damage coil, sell the A simple tell. Well, the low corruption coil. Handling and tell. Maybe I should replace the rope caster. Resist 25 resist fire, 24 resist shock. I should look into that. Uh, sell this. Buy Tops and Potions, buy Ammo, oh, I don't need that, damn it. Fine, just buy it so it won't bother me. I have the shards. Okay. You'll regret not stopping this for a more pass. I will be something strange. I hear the Nora are pretty good at making use of machine. Yeah, we do that. She didn't even hesitate. Uh, excuse me. Where's Talana? Maybe upstairs. No, it's what? either. What? Maybe Ligon knows where they are. Wait, I have the stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, bad. Uh, Ligon? What the hell is everybody? Stop your ball without break. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. I'm okay. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. Though I saw some outlanders follow after. It's a trap. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm. You might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. The spear shafts. That's stalker territory. But 
but I think I'll do that next time. Because I really have to go. Thanks for watching, stay good, have fun. That was Treadmill, hang on a minute. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, not a complete uh, trap, but okay. We'll do that next time. Bye bye.